I'm in my little writing cabin today and I thought I would show you some Bell ephemera. So firstly these are cigarette cards from Will Cigarettes and you can see the Countess of Kencarty written there. It's the same one. I should probably put the better one in the frame. This one is from Ogden's Guinea Gold Cigarettes. Again, Countess of Clancarty is written, but this was probably taken when Bell was still Bell Bilton. Um, behind we see one that's actually titled Miss Bell Bilton. It's a photograph by W and D Downey in London, and Bell actually broke some of those negatives because she wasn't happy with how, in a sense, racy she looked in those pictures, so she wanted to suppress them. This one here is again Lady Clancarty but she's in theatre costume. The original picture was taken by Lafayette's and then it was sold as a postcard by JB and Co. This is a magazine from Australia from the 1930s uh, called Parade and it's recounting Bell's rags to riches story so to speak. It has a funny little caption on the picture of William the Earl didn't look so good when his irate father packed him off abroad for getting himself involved with a pretty coarse girl. <laughs> it's quite funny. This is another piece of ephemera I bought online. The sale of the Clancarty pictures. Um, which was interesting. This is the Clancarty coat of arms, another cigarette card. That's Garbley Court there, the house where Belle lived, which still stands today and is a boys' school. My son goes there, so I'm regularly up there. And it has the Concilio et Prudentia, which is the coat of arms or the family motto. Um, but they do have another motto as well, the Trench motto, because they had several names, of course, Clancarty, Trench, Lepore Trench. They were also the Marquises of Houston from the Netherlands. This letter is very interesting. Here's a nice piece of ephemera I acquired online. It's a letter from William when he was Viscount Dunlow about a pig sticking trip in India. And it took, he wrote this letter during the time he was away from Bell when he went abroad. Um, in my novel, I just have him in Hong Kong and Australia. In fact, he went to other places. But you can see his beautiful signature here on the second page. And it's lovely to know that William actually wrote that 